Hi everyone. Welcome. I'm so glad to see all of you again. Today though I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to read you a story. It's called The Song and Dance Man by Karen Ackerman, illustrated by Stephen Cabmill, and it's about vaudeville. A gentleman who used to be in vaudeville. What's a vaudeville show? Well, a long time ago, you know, we didn't have TV. And so people would go out to the theaters to see a show, and they called them a vaudeville show. And in the vaudeville show, there would be a song and dance man, a panelist, a ventriloquist, an uh, acrobatic artist, um, just all different kinds of acts. And then that show, or that vaudeville show, would go to another town and put on a show. And they go from town to town, so people could come in and watch wonderful shows. And they were great artists, great people. In fact, ask Grandma and Grandpa about them. I bet they could tell you all kinds of stories, and maybe they even went to a vaudeville show. So let's begin with the story of a song and dance man. And it's a grandpa. And... It starts with, Grandpa was a song and dance man who once danced on the vaudeville show. Stage, I should say. When we visit, we tell, he tells us all about a time before people watched TV. Back in the good old days, the song and dance days. So good grandchildren come to visit Grandpa. Supper is in the hour, Grandma calls from the kitchen. I wonder if my tap shoes still fit, Grandpa says, with a smile. Then he turns on the light to the attic, and we follow him up the steep wooden steps. Now, a lot of us don't have attics in our house that we can go upstairs to, but in your older homes they did, and oh my goodness, there's such treasures they would find up there. There goes Grandpa and the grandchildren up the steps. <gasps> Look at Faded posters of Grandpa when he was young hang on the walls. He moves some cardboard boxes and a rack of Grandma's winter dresses out of the way, and we see a dusty, leather, brown, trim truck trunk in the corner. As soon as Grandpa opens it, the smell of cedar chips, old things, say fills the attic. Inside are shoes with the silver half-moon taps on the toes and heels. Bowler hats, top hats, vests with stripes and matching bow ties. We try on the hats and pretend we're dancing on a vaudeville stage where the bright lights twinkle and the piano player nods his head along with the music. So you can just see him playing the piano and nodding his head. Let's see if in my attic I can find any tap shoes. Let me look. Oh, wow, I found a pair. Look, and the tap medals he was talking about. And they would go to make noise. And so they would do all kinds of fancy things. Real old tap shoes they are. But boy, such fun. Then he tries on hats and pretends we're dancing on the vaudeville stage. I said that. I think I'm going to look in my attic and see if I have any hats. Look what I found. Look, a, a fedora, a silver top hat. Ooh, really special. A sparkly tap, top hat. Look at that. Such fun. Oh, I bet I have in my attic all kinds of fun things. I'm going to put these down for a minute and continue the story. After wiping his shoes with a cloth, he calls a chamois. Grandma puts them on. He tucks small white pads inside his shoes so his corns won't rub, and he turns on the lamps and aims each one down like a spotlight. He sprinkles a little powder on the floor, and it's showtime. We sit on one of Grandma's wooden, blanket, wooden blankets, woolen blankets, claps our hands, and calls out, Hey, Grandpa! The song and dance man begins to dance. The old soft shoe. His feet move slowly at first, while his tap hats, tap shoes make soft, slippery sounds like rain on a tin roof. We forget that it's Grandpa's dancing, and all we can hear is a silvery tap of two feet. And 
All we can see is a song and dance man gliding across a vaudeville stage. Can you see that picture? He's got a cane. I wonder if I have a cane. He says, watch this, and does a new step that sounds like a woodpecker tra tapping on a tree. Suddenly, his shoes move faster, and he begins to sing. His voice is as round and strong as a can of nickel, and his cheeks get rosy as he sings. Yankee Doodle Boy, a song he knows from the good old days. There are too many dance steps and too many words in the song for us to remember, but the show is better than any show on TV. The song and dance man stops, leans forward with a wink. What's that in your ear, he asks, and he pulls out a silver dollar out of somebody's hair. He rolls his bowler hat down his arm, catches his hand, and flips it back up on his hand. I wonder if I could do that with my I don't think so. Know how to make an elephant float? He asks. One scoop of ice cream, two squirts of soda, and three scoops of elephant. We heard that joke before, but the song and damn man, man slaps his knee and laughs until his eyes start watering. I'm going to see if there's a jacket or a vest that maybe fits me before I finish the story. Oh, look what I found! I hope it fits me. Oh, I so hope it fits. Oh, I think it might. Well, if I can put it on. <laughs> okay. Oh, whoa! It's a little dusty. But I don't think it'll work. I do think so. He tries to wipe them with a red hanky from his vest because he's so hot from dancing. And he pulls the hanky just inside the longer, gets longer and longer as he pulls it out. He looks so surprised that we start laughing too. And he feels like the whole attic is sh shaking. Sometimes we laugh so hard the hiccups start. And Grandpa stops to bring us a glass of water. Drink slow and hold your breath, he says. Oh, I have to scare you. Once our hiccups are gone, he gets a gold-tipped cane. Oh, I wonder if I have a cane. Oh, look, a cane. Oh, man, now just get my hat. I'm ready to go. I'm going to put my cane right there for a minute. And we'll go from there. Once our hiccups are gone, he gets a gold strap cane and a black silk top hat from the trunk. He lowers his eyes, tips the hat, and he's standing very still. All the lights are turned low, except one that shines on his polished tap shoes. It's called Spotlight. It's the grand finale. So the song and dance man takes a deep breath. breath. He lifts the cane and holds it in both hands. Slowly, he starts to tap. His shoes move faster and faster, and the sound coming from them are too many to make with only two feet. But he does it. He spins and jumps into the air, touching the stage again. He kneels with his arms spread out, and the silk top hat and top cane lie side by side at his feet. His shoes are still, and the show is over. We stand up together and clap our hands, shouting, hooray, hooray, and more, more. But Grandpa only smiles and shakes his head all out of breath. He takes off his tap shoes, wraps them gently in the chamois cloth, and puts them back in the leather trim trunk. He carefully folds his vest and lays the top hat and cane on it, and we follow him to the stairway. I think I showed this. Grandpa holds on to the rail as we go down the steps. At the bottom, he hugs us, and we tell him we wish we, he could have seen him dance in the good old days, the song and dance days. He smiles and whispers that he wouldn't trade a million good old days for the days he spends with us. But as he turns off the attic light, Grandpa glances back up the stairs, and we wonder how much he really misses that time on the vaudeville stage when he was a song and dance man. So he has good memories, doesn't he? Wasn't that a nice story? I love that story. And I'm so excited that I found a jacket and a cane and a hat. 
Oh, let me see. Oh, that was hard digging through everything and trying to find it. But I um, think I'll wipe my head off too. Oh my. Oh. Oh, look at this jacket. It's magical. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a magic jacket. I can't believe it. And look, I have some top shoes on, just like the song and dance man did. I wonder if the, I can dance with him. Wow. And can you hear that? They make noise. Toes and heels. That's just a little bit, and it's so fun. Tap dancing is really fun, and it has become such a wonderful art form. And a long time ago, when people wanted to tap dance, they didn't have such nice special tap shoes. But now we put on special things on the bottom, like I showed. In just one minute, I'll show you. These are things that they put on with screws or little taps and tacks. They put them on so that you can make noise. And then the heels also have it. So I don't know if you can see that, but then you can make all kinds. And long, long time ago, how they would learn steps is someone would make up a step. And then another person will copy it and they make up a step. And pretty soon there's all kinds of wonderful sounds. Rhythmically, they were wonderful. They even got names from the vaudeville days, like Shuffle Off to Buffalo. That's how sometimes the vaudeville tap dancer would go on stage. He'd go and wave goodbye. And it was called Shuffle Off to Buffalo because that was the name of the next town we were going to. We had a step called the Cincinnati. Oh my goodness, all kinds of sounds and names. I thank you for letting me be here. And I'm so excited in the attic. I found such fun things and such magical things. Wow. Goodbye, everybody.